Thank you, Andrea. Right now, flooding also continues to cause problems in Pinellas County. Yeah, 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean is live in Treasure Island right now. Jenny, you, you've run into some high water all around that area. Yeah, Jameson, I've actually moved to Paso Grill now. Uh, this is an area that uh, saw significant damage from a tropical storm, Debbie, or Hurricane Debbie, back in 2012, where it caused major flooding and winds. So we wanted to come here to check it out and see what the situation was like. Check out the surf right now. The water is coming. If you know this area, if you know Paso Grill, there's a very popular snack bar right across from Hurricane's restaurant. This is right in front of that snack bar. You can see the stairways, the walkway, the water's coming all the way up to it. This is also an area where uh, they're doing a lot of beach renourishment and uh, a lot of it, I can tell you, um, is, is uh, probably going to be washed away. Now they just got started on it, so hopefully they'll be able to, uh, to, to keep that going on. Now, we wanna show you, uh, I talked to meteorologist Mike Prangley, high tide around here, was it about? Uh, midnight. Look how deep those shells are. That's concrete under there, the concrete. So you can just see how much water had to wash up here uh, late in the early morning hours, late last night. So now uh, the water is kind of starting to go down a little bit, but we're still seeing major waves feeling the wind. The wind is very powerful right now. And, um, you know, the roads coming out here, I would say they looked pretty good, though. Here's what I would say. There's some ponding on the roadways out here in Paso Grill, but it is not covering the roadways to where it's dangerous or going to get in any homes, at least the roads that we were on. So uh, that's that. We're going to head to Gulfport and check out Gulfport because we know there's been some significant flooding there. But so far, things looking pretty good in Paso Grill. We're live in Pinellas County. Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay. Yeah, Jenny, thank you. Gulfport certainly has had uh, their share of issues over the last 24 hours as well. Taking a live